Glory to Ukraine, glory to brave Ukrainian army. We will definitely win Ukraine stands Ukraine fighting for the freedom and democracy in the Europe and whole world. I will show you my beauties, my flowers, my plants, uh, which are blooming. Mm, we have May already and uh, some new uh, varieties started to bloom and uh, Forgive me if you will hear being ghost. I have my microphone. I have uh, some addition to my microphone against wind, but still, ghosts are pretty strong. So, Geon or Geon, Geon, I think uh, this is an um, interesting variety, interesting plant, and it's worth to. Uh, to plant it, to grow it, uh, because it's uh, almost self-care, it does not require much uh, or many efforts. Uh, it uh, grows pretty fast, uh, it has a very bright color. As you can see, I have uh, many of uh, varieties of this uh, plant. I will show you them and you will see that all of them or even or almost all of them they are very bright very colored and very intense color uh, some of flowers are already in not so very um, flourish you because uh, we have pretty sunny and hot days uh, uh, 25 i think even above zero uh, 25 celsius uh, and uh, sunny days uh, from the morning to um, to the evening and this is of course not uh, so good uh, for the flowers to be strong. Uh, here you can see based on leaves and uh, as of leaves you can see that uh, yes sun activity is pretty high. One mogeum, one mogeum in another color and here on one bush you can see couple of shades of one color. Main is a pretty interesting yellow one, uh, yellow with apricot shadings and these um, uh, two central flowers which are already longer I assume than this left one they are more, even more peachy, more apricot than yellow. Interesting color, very good, very past pastel one, uh, very nice. Uh, here one more orange but not so intense orange as previous one this one is very intense this one is not so intense but still very nice and very pretty one more beauty um, maybe a little bit similar to previous one but not exact match of course still are the shade and this uh, makes it mm, very interesting because also on one bush you can see different shades of uh, the color of the yellow of the orange of the orange red even the central one it's pretty deep orange even almost red yeah one nice flower nice bush and you see how nice color is forget me not starting to uh, bloom and it's on the alisum alisum one of variety we have alisum officialis and etc a lot of different varieties and you can see how wide it is i have planted it uh, from the so initial plant size was maybe even uh, half of this maybe even a little bit more bigger than this one maybe half of this but in a year it became so huge it is uh, self-planting. I have planted it somewhere here and in addition to uh, it became more wider, more widespreading, it is uh, really widespreading. It uh, plants itself, itself by itself. So yeah, uh, spreading and spreading and more wide, became more wider and wider. And uh, forget me not uh, with interesting leaves uh, Mm, also leave interesting leaves picture uh, coloring uh, and it's <laughs> soon it will be occupied by alisum but i will uh, after this uh, uh, yellow deep yellow alisum will finish its blooming i will uh, divide it and uh, will give more space for this variety forget me not one more beauty mm. <clears throat> this is uh, Veronica, Veronica, uh, Madame, 
Madame Mercier and I would recommend it for the ground cover as ground cover plant. It is ground cover and it's used of course to some heels, to some uh, um, not uh, very uh, uh, not very plain maybe uh, surface uh, in case you have some uh, difference in uh, uh, surface in height of uh, on your uh, uh, on your <coughs> yard when you garden and you want to just cover this uh, with some plant uh, this veronica it will suit uh, very very good and in addition you can see that it is uh, this variety of veronica it's yeah because we have different varieties of veronica some could be very high and some could be ground cover like this and uh, even uh, flowers uh, their form differ as well and their color of course you can see here color very nice very tender this is light uh, violet um, violet lavender very very nice with stripes and uh, uh, with uh, different shades of violet and it has very long lasting blooming it uh, already bloomed in my garden even uh, in december of course there were a couple of flowers two maybe maybe three but still in december here I have seen the flower and even filmed this in it is on my YouTube channel in Ukrainian language. So yeah, uh, very nice, very um, widespreading, very unproblematic, non-problematic uh, with uh, small efforts uh, in taking care about it. So yeah, a very interesting one. And I will show you more varieties, uh, more geum, more geum additional one in very nice and tender apricot uh, orange deep apricot deep orange color and very mm, very high one interesting one and this is runon colos but it's uh, i'm not sure wild or maybe uh, not so not the variety with big flower because i know that there are varieties in with pretty big flower maybe up to even 10 centimeters i have planted such and they are just uh, starting to uh, grow up uh, but this one uh, this is wild rose we also called it uh, wild rose it's uh, yes yeah, some maybe even species not sure but definitely wild variety it is also self-spreading it's uh, fast growing and it will grow even on some very very um, poor soils with uh, small watering with very rare watering it will be spreading even one meter two meters away from the main uh, and central bush where it, you planted it so yeah a very fast growing and spreading variety but very interesting uh, form of flower is very interesting uh, it's really like a little rose and uh, it has a lot of petals it has a very bright yellow color it will be noticeable from far and the central part is uh, so green and it's a uh, very nice combination of green with yellow one more gel and it is um, in the shades from uh, building from the house building and of course while i'm showing you this beauty i of course as usual mention about russia aggression ag against ukraine according to our services uh, security services um, and 911 services russia during april 2024 russian launched uh, more than 300 missiles of different types uh, against uh, all ukrainian cities uh, more than 300 of shahed's uh, these drones uh, and more than 2300 self-drived bombs aviation bombs they are terrorizing especially uh, cities uh, near the border and uh, not even daily but couple times of a uh, couple times during the day 
Kharkiv, Sume, Sume region, Kharkiv region, different cities uh, in that region. Odessa, they terrorized the city daily, nightly. Yesterday, they struck warehouses of one of the biggest uh, logistic uh, company in Ukraine, Nova Posta or New Post. I think uh, many of you already heard about this uh, logistic company. They destroyed completely the warehouse. A lot of more than 930 um, um, parcels uh, were destroyed completely and yeah, of course a lot of uh, destruction and uh, parcels, yeah they are parcels, but a lot of people are wounded. You can even imagine with launching such big number of uh, death uh, weapon of uh, a weapon which brings death, destroyance, uh, destruction, grief and uh, a lot of injuries. Uh, yeah, how many people were wounded and uh, injured and among them kids as well. So yeah, they are terrorizing us from day to day. We need to cover our air, our sky against them. Our cities need support, of course, by air forces, by F-16. We are waiting eagerly for these planes to help us to just fight against these occupiers. One more beauty I will show you. Pioni, Pioni, I don't know how it is in English. Mm, I mean this variety. I will need to check this, but maybe you will see something similar in your garden and you will write in comments uh, how it's called in English. Uh, one of my favorite varieties, why? Because I know it's from my childhood, so it was very popular and it is very popular, but uh, almost maybe almost in every garden uh, this peony uh, growing and it is very very bright, it's very deep uh, um, red, cherry red, uh, a beetroot red color very nice one it will show the middle it will open completely and will change and will show the middle and maybe i will do the video about this as well and it has very nice fragrance very very intense very nice very sweet uh, and not uh, uh, not disgusting sweet but very nice and pleasant sweet i love this peony because of its flower and because of its flower fragrance and because it reminds me about childhood about uh, times where or when there was no war in ukraine and my kids unfortunately of course of course unfortunately but yeah they uh, know about war they almost daily even today they were in air uh, in shelter a bomb shelter and uh, yeah this could happen in the middle of the day while they are asleep in the kindergarten uh, they have to wake up and go to the shelter yeah thanks for watching thanks for listening thanks for all your comments uh, for all your support even even prayers uh, and uh, especially if you are doing something which really helps ukraine to overcome and to fight and to, of course to win this terrorist because if we will not stop it here it will reach other european countries definitely thanks see you in the next video and bye